this year I've had the pleasure of actually being a judge for the British Curry Awards uh, rather than just sponsoring it as Lloyd's TSB Cardinet. It's been a real challenge. Uh, the quality of entries has been mixed, but there's some excellent restaurants. Just been through the range, testing the starters, accompaniments, main courses and side dishes. And um, as far as consistency this year, they're, they're pretty consistent. Uh, they're pretty much all of a standard as, as far as I can see. I think that the, the judging, it will be very difficult. Even used in a political speech about multiculturalism by a man with a tikka masala coloured beard. Chicken tikka masala is now a true British national dish. If you look at some of the areas in East London like Tower Hamlets where there are pockets of unemployment, there are a lot more people out there you could train to fill in those big gaps that you're talking about. Yes. If you look at that only one or two um, colleges which is providing the chef, it's not enough. We have a 9,500 restaurant in this country. Mr McNulty, a curry industry that's under threat, they can't use anyone to become an Indian chef. That there is a significant shortage of chefs and highly qualified uh, catering staff, then we need to talk that through and there is the flexibility in the system to ensure that we uh, allow them to carry on recruiting highly trained chefs. That's, that's not an issue. The issue, as you rightly say, is at the lower end of the market in terms of skills, where we think in the first instance it's not appropriate to employ people from outside the UK and the EU for what are, after all, very low skill positions. The Home Secretary appeared to say a few days ago that the way to solve the growing shortage is simply to train replacements in this country. And again, uh, I think the House deserves some clarity as to whether that is uh, the government's solution to this problem. And uh, Mr. Mr. Ali, who, who I mentioned earlier ago, says he can cite numerous examples where the lack of educational opportunity, which is the norm uh, throughout the third world, to gain formal qualifications equivalent to NVQ levels three or four, um, is being used by entry officers as a pretext for visa refusal uh, and he says that typical is the story uh, of a top chef currently running the kitchens of a five-star restaurant in Bombay who can't gain entry to the UK because he is virtually illiterate. Now clearly there are going to be sensitive issues like this and clearly there will be... Oh. I've, I've spoken to Enam Ali and I've told him and I'll tell the Honourable Gentleman these do not quote constantly examples that are just profoundly wrong. Uh, any chef who's currently working uh, and has the skills to work in a five-star restaurant in Bombay will be welcome in this country uh, with open arms. You're entirely wrong, and so is my honourable friend, under the new system. Uh, whether, if there are difficulties now, then let's address those differences now. I, I, I'm glad the, the, the Minister is confident enough to, to believe that, that he is right. Uh, distinguished uh, Bangladeshi restaurateurs are wrong, uh, his honourable friend from Leicester East is wrong, the whole world is wrong except the Minister. My own view of this is that migration um, on the whole is positive and of benefit to countries but it needs to be controlled, there need to be rules and the question is how do you impose rules in the modern world where there is this mass migration, mass travel, mass communication. It's very, very difficult to do. And that's, and I think most people in the country, in fact, are not racist about this at all, actually. They just want to, to, to think that there is some order and some rules that can be brought to this situation. And the trouble is, from a policy-making point of view, is that those rules are very, very difficult. Because, you're, as I say, the, the, the moment you, 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 you realise that literally 11 to 12 million people come into this country every year, um, you know, you, you understand the scale of the problem. Because, all, as I say, the vast, vast bulk of those people...